Kidney dead. <laughs> what y'all doing, babies? What up, bogey? What? Why you say what the fuck? <laughs> I can't go live on Instagram. I'm blocked from it, so. I seen this Ashland City cop circling the parking lot with his window cracked looking at me, so I was like, fuck it, I'll just go live on YouTube. I don't trust nobody around here. I trust the fucking, the hometown people. I don't trust the police, though. Not a lick. Not the Ashland City police. I don't trust them at all. <sighs> Y'all doing all right today? You doing all right today? Mellow Yellow, they ain't had no Mountain Dew. They ain't have no that Mountain Dew. Ready to give me a Mellow Yellow. Yeah. So, sorry if this is a boring live, man. I just do this shit to watch my own back. I fucking don't trust Ashland City Police. A lick whatsoever like I'm scared these motherfuckers are gonna fucking pull me over and throw some shit in the back seat or something there's already a rumor that apparently has been started by one of them and um people are coming like dude I've had like six people since I got back from Corbin be like dude uh so officer so and so is uh telling everybody he's for sure you're a drug dealer I'm like Bro, why would I have to be a drug dealer, fool? I'm like, what the fuck? Did, why? I have no reason to be one. And I've already said it like 50 million times in my videos. Motherfucker, if you think I am, then investigate me. Look, 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 look at them they're right here. They, yeah, well, you were eight and you had bad trays. Well, you see, he's on a cool back, you know what I mean? We must pull them over. Yeah, fuck that shit. What's up, Skins? Hey, Corbin was fun, dude. That shit was litty as a titty. Man, wait till Nashville, bro. Wait till Nashville. And look, when people have shows in Nashville, usually all these big record owners and shit will be like, oh, let me call my friend over here at Live Nation and get me some tickets. Yeah, that ain't gonna work here, fucking. I'm gonna give tickets away to regular motherfuckers, but I ain't giving no tickets away to no mainstream record rec record label owners. You gonna have to buy a ticket too, good. <laughs> and you can't buy an upfront ticket neither. You gotta sit, sit all the way in the fucking nosebleed, wherever that at. You gotta sit there. You can't be down here with my scans, man. You can't be down here with my scans. Tickets go on sale for that in like four days. <coughs> and I'm going to post the link. I'm going to post the link, bro. Don't buy no tickets from nowhere. From nowhere besides where I post the link. Because motherfuckers be selling fake tickets. For real. We're about to whip it up in Sonic. See if Miss Cindy's here. Black. Now I'm about to go home and clean my house. Bro, I am just like all y'all. For real. Maybe that's why they think I'm a damn drug dealer. What is he doing going to Sonic all the time? Suspicious. <laughs> what is he going? What is he doing going to the gas station at 2 a.m. in the morning? Suspicious. Well, motherfucker, maybe I'm just regular. You didn't think, did you ever think about that? <laughs> probably what it is. Plus, like, you know, to be a drug dealer, you have to sell drugs. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck, bro? And I know you ain't got uh, nothing of me doing that. 
I mean, if music is a drug, then yeah, I guess. But that ain't the case, fool. All right, I'm going to order my Sonic real quick. Tractors be riding dirty. I get the same thing every time. 405 in this mug. What you doing, good? I'm your drug. <laughs> Smoke me. How's y'all's day been today? <laughs> Chili cheese. Get right. Anthony? Yeah, bro, that, that's what I was, I was like, dude, doesn't this cop see what I do, like, for a living, like, it ain't like I'm saying, like, I'm doing all this shit, they're not doing it, I don't even really tell people about what I do, I just fucking do it, but don't get the sheriff's department confused with Ashland City Police Department, because they're two separate things, with two separate personalities and two separate attitudes, bro, trust me. Cheatham County Sheriff's Department is by the motherfucking book. And most of the time, <clears throat> when they pull you over, they try to help you with your situation. Especially if you're like a single mom or some shit. You know, when it comes to like, oh, I pulled you over because your tag light or uh, your tags are expired or something like that. Usually they'll be like, hey, just get it fixed so you don't get pulled over by somebody else and then they, you know, fuck shit up. These motherfuckers. You won't even have an out tail light. They'll come up and fucking tell you you do. And be like, oh, never mind. Huh? I fucking thought you did. Okay, well, can I switch your car? It's like, it doesn't work like that, you thumbhead ass. Plus, that's defamation of character, bro. Running around saying I'm something I'm not. But, yeah. I'd be the worst drug dealer ever, probably. I'd probably just give them away. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, you need this? Well, here, just don't worry about it. I'd, I'd, I'd fuck something up, for sure. Pennsylvania! Y'all love Pennsylvania? Yeah, right. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, can I get... <laughs> a uh, bacon, egg, cheese, breakfast burrito with a medium sweet tea. Uh, that's all. Thank you. Look at this. You know your boy got that MP3 player saying this. Christina Hoover, let me make you some food. Oh, that's sweet. You're so sweet. <coughs> but, bro, that, that's why I haven't left this town either, dude. Because I'm not letting no fucking corrupt motherfuckers run me out of my town. Fuck that. I fucking, I love the people here too much. I go to Walmart, bro, it feels like a family reunion. People just talking to me about regular shit. Hey, church, how's it going? Oh, what's up, man? Taking pictures with, like, you know, young fellers. Shit, that's what I love. I like being the irregular, regular guy, you know? Uh, outlaw, there wasn't, Bo. There wasn't. But uh, that's another thing that I'm going to start doing more is for these albums... Me and B Loose are going to start doing like more than half of the tracks. Uh, we're going to make music videos for them. And bro, this next album is big, dog. Like, not big, like, oh, it's going to be big. It's actually big. Like, it has a lot of songs on it. It's probably the biggest album I've put out lengthwise in about five years. Jonathan, I, do, I got skills, baby. And glasses now. Bubba Up Church is my TikTok. Yeah. Uh, 
Thanks, Philip. What's your thought on cherry skull? Uh, you mean like the dip cherry skull? It's pretty good. Skull's just too dry, man. Candace, we're gonna try to. See this this uh this year I already have my shows set for which ones I'm gonna do. And uh, I'll be releasing that list soon. But uh, 2023, I think I'm going to focus on uh, the West Coast. Because oh, I think I'm going to focus on the West Coast because I haven't really been out there that much. And there's a bunch of, like, country motherfuckers down there, too, believe it or not. Like, one of my buddies one time, he was like, he's like, why you going to go? He's like, why you want to go to California? I ain't no country shit down there in California. Oh, yes, there he is. See, it's opposite. You go to South California, it's like what you think it is. You go to North California, that's where all the country shit is. Whoa. Oh, no shit, this album's on your birthday? Bro. Oh, man. Dude, there's a reason why I've been calling this album Bohemian Hillbilly, bro. That's not what it's called. It's called The, Pe it's called People's, Ch the People's Champ. But... Bro, I've been jokingly calling it Bohemian Hillbilly because it is insane, bro. Like, the whole time you're listening to it, you're not going to be able to expect what kind of song is next. There, You won't be able to guess at all. So, <clears throat> it's like a whirlwind of all my styles smashed together, but at a different talent level, if that makes sense. Damn, I wish I had my other phone in here, bro. <clears throat> I could show y'all. I got one phone that's like, it's it's not turned on. It's just an iPhone for storage. And I keep all my shit on there. Will you ever come to Colorado? I want to. Dude, you know where I want to do a show at? Red Rock. That's like my dream spot to do a show. Red Rock. Because the acoustics are so fucking badass. Arizona. Hey, there's a place in Arizona that I want to go. It's called the Garden of Eden. I want to go there real bad. It's beautiful. Twenty. Uh, so after my birthday, I'm going to... Oh, hold on a second. Ah. Oh, wait. That's not mine. Um, After my birthday, I think I'm going to do something to where... I have like three travel spots picked out and then you guys get to pick where I go. Kind of like a video game. And I just go there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to vlog all of it. I'm going I'm to go to like the main spots and these places where God told me to go and experience them in high quality so you guys can see. Also, check this out, dude. Oh, man, dude. I don't even know if I want to say because it's such a good idea. Fuck, dude. I don't... All right, put it this way. Fuck it, I'll tell you. I don't care. So, my next show, I'm going to do it with a 360 camera. From my point of view. So, I'm going to take that show. b is going to slam the show all together, right? And, and edit it and make it to where it's the best experience ever, bro. And then... You'll be able to buy the show for like 10 bucks and put on a VR headset and see the show from my point of view. <laughs> Dude, I can't wait. Dude, that was really nice. Oh, bro, mysterious. I already, already have told everybody. But the difference is one is by the book and one is don't even act like I didn't even read the book. The Cheatham County Sheriff's Department has a heart and is by the book. The other motherfuckers, the, the Ashland City people, it just seems like they ain't never even fucking read the book. It's pretty fucking embarrassing. Like, I, I'm big on what I make my town look like because it has such good people in it I don't want to make the town look bad 
You know what I mean? That's why I don't jam music at my house and or, or I do it at my ranch, but nobody can hear it. But when I'm at my other houses that are in town, I don't fucking act crazy or be loud or nothing because I respect this town. I'm definitely not going to fucking sell drugs. The fuck? I don't want to I don't want to ruin the fucking town. <coughs> you know? Hell, why do you think I'm all I like these motherfuckers? I don't understand. Like, why do you think I'm always preaching? Hey, kids, if you're going to do something anyways. If you're going to do something, just smoke weed, dude. Like, don't fucking get peer pressured into trying all this other shit. You know what I mean? Take it from somebody who goes on the road all the time, dude. And is around motherfuckers. Bro, I've been offered every drug under the fucking moon, dude. Every drug under the moon. Around people that I think are really fucking cool. And I've just been like, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine with just smoking some pot, dude. That's it. Especially in a fucking a world where most entertainers are promoting a shit ton of drugs all the time. And then kids are like, yeah, man, that's my favorite rapper. I want to do what he does. <laughs> that's using your power for bad, dude. Hell, I wouldn't even promote weed if they weren't doing all kind of other shit. Hey, rolling your own smokes is way better. <coughs> better than buying them. Hell, dip has even changed. I'm about to probably find me a different kind of dip to start dipping because... Fucking grizzly wintergreen is starting to taste like fucking Windex. Panama, baby. Dude, wait till y'all hear the country album. It's, it's already done, too. Or at least most of, most of the way. When will the... Oh, the cover? Ooh! Dude, wait till y'all see the cover of People's Champ, dude. It... Bro, this photo of the People's Champ album cover is going to be... Because, like, when we take the picture, obviously, like, it's going to be on the album cover. But the actual picture picture that Be Loose takes is going to be timeless. It's going to be timeless. And I'm only going to make... I'm going to make one original copy for everybody in my crew... Which is, I'd say about, mm, let's see, I can't, we'll just say it's like 10, okay? And I'm making one, one other original that I'm going to auction off for something good. I don't know what yet, but we're going to auction off for something good. And... I ain't lying, bro. That picture in 50 years is going to be worth so much money just because I know what the, I know what's about to happen. I know what's about to happen. This is going to be the album that changes my entire life and changes the way people look at me, bro. And the cool thing is that I did never have to fucking sell out, dude. Didn't never have to sell out. And you know what's wild? I've never, ever said this anywhere else whatsoever. Because I don't like to be that braggadocious ass person. Oh, hey, sweetie. Hi. How you doing? I'm good. I'm sorry. I'm about to sneeze my ass off. Oh, oh. Yeah. You can... <laughs> oh shit. Don't worry. I don't have COVID. Oh, you're <laughs> you can keep the change on that. Right, Thank you, sweetie. Uh, do you have, uh, what'd you say? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, can I get, uh, three picante sauces? Thank Thank you. Thank you. I had some more money for him. Damn. Ah, shit. But anyway, uh, this is going to be the album that changes everything. And oh yeah, what I was saying was, bro, I've never ever bragged about this, but... 
Shit, hold on. Thank you. I'm sorry I didn't have a more a cash on me. Next time I got you, though. I got you next time. All right, sweetie. Um, I want you to try to find a independent movement that's never, ever been signed at all that's bigger than our group. There ain't one. There's not. Right now, some very epic shit is happening with with us. And people might not realize it or note it now, but later on down the road, when everybody looks back on this, they're going to be like, holy shit, dude. Like, this shit was big. Not only was it big, it fucking, it was fully independent. And when they look back on how I was, and we were, like me and you guys, with each other, they're going to be like, dude... This crazy bastard was putting out fucking number one albums and staying on charts forever and fucking doing all this shit while living smack dab in the middle of his fucking hometown the entire time. (laughs) Bro, what we're doing right now is unheard of, dog. It is unheard of. Google, Google it. Fuck it. And if some, if there is an independent movement right now, that's been independent movement from day one. Tag me in it, because I ain't found it. I ain't found it, bro. What we're doing right now is something that ain't been done since the damn 30s and 40s of in country music. You know what I mean? So, yeah, independent equals freedom, dude. But, guys, I love y'all. I'm uh, getting off here, because I'm about to drop to my house, and I don't know who's watching this live. Uh... Expect me to drop some little teasers and stuff about the album over the next few days. The album comes out February 4th. February 4th. And, uh, please, I, I ask y'all, I, 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 I'm gonna ask one favor. One favor. When y'all do buy the album, please screenshot it and tag me in it. And after you listen to the whole thing, tell me what you think about it when it drops. All right. I love you guys. Small town shit to the death, baby.